Hey basketball players, today I'm going to be breaking down Zion Williamson and how he plays basketball on the offensive end of the court. First off, he is actually a really good shooter. So, what this is going to do for him is that's going to bring the defensive centers out to guard him on the perimeter a lot more often, especially next season. And what's going to happen next season is he's going to start driving on those centers who are popping out to guard him and guard his shot. And because he is so much quicker than that defensive center, he is going to be able to blow by them with ease. So keep that in mind. Let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check out how Zion Williamson plays on offense. So in this first clip, what we're seeing is the average defense from a center. Usually they are defending the key. They're not usually defending a, the other player's center on the outside of the three-point line. And because of this, Zion Williamson is going to be able to hit multiple three-point shots if they continue not to guard him out on the perimeter. So here we have Zion Williamson again. He passes over to Ball. Now, what's going to happen is that player is going to pop out, that defensive player, and this defensive player is going to be popping out as well. This is going to allow Zion Williamson to now pop out and stay at the three-point line. His defensive player is inside the key. The reason why the San Antonio Spurs were playing Zion Williamson like this is because he hasn't really proven himself at this point in time in the NBA to knock down the three-point shot. Now, with that center down in the key, and Pirtle is a very quick player, he has really good hands, but when it comes down to defense, he's not going to be able to keep up and stay with Zion Williamson because of his strength and speed. That's why he's defending him so deep. Now, Zion Williamson gets that ball, and he's able to release that shot before Pirtle is able to really do too much. Now, hand down, hand down means man down. His hand is up, but Zion Williamson, by the time he gets it, he's got a really quick release. He's able to catch. Now, let's time this down. He catches it. Now, that's 11.86. By the time he releases it, that's 12.86. It's taken him a second. That tends to be the average, but he could actually even speed that up a bit as well. Now the one thing that Zion Williamson is able to understand about his body is the fact that he's able to jump very high and he's able to beat lots of players with his first step quickness. Now, Ball is a really good passer. Now these two players work ridiculously well together and this is why. Ball is able to hit passes in areas that many other players are unable to pass to. Now, Zion Williamson likes to go back door on multiple players. And because of that, if he can go behind the player and that ball is passed perfectly to him over top of the defender, he's going to get lots of points. A ton of points. Now, because of that, because of these two players, I feel like in a few years, the New Orleans Pelicans are going to be a really good team. Now that ball goes over top, he's able to catch it and dunk it on his player without his player really doing that much at all. So if you've got the ability to jump like Zion Williamson or if you're able to work on your vertical jump and jump like him, what you can do is run behind the defense like we see Zion Williamson do so often. And when he does that, he's able to attack the rim. Now again, if you're able to be a big body as well, I always like to instruct as a coach my bigger centers, whether we're playing a five out or not, to attack the rim right away. Attack the rim, whether you have the ball or not. And even if you don't have the ball, attack the rim, get close to underneath that rim, roughly where that half circle is, and that way maybe you can slide behind the defense and you can have your guards pass down to you and you can get some easy points before we even run an offensive play. These are just some quick tips I like to give my centers. So I'm going to show you the defensive end and the transition game that Zion Williamson has. Now really quickly, his, de his player that he's defending is going up for a shot. What's the first thing that he does? He recognizes where that ball is going to go, where that ball is bouncing on that rim. Now. He's still standing there. 
He's watching that ball. He's seeing if his players are able to get that rebound. Now, as soon as he recognizes, and he's still hopping to get ready for his explosive first step and explosive transition game, as soon as he recognizes, hey, we got that rebound, he starts sprinting down court. And this is what you can do as well. If your player shoots the ball, box out your player, and then if your team has the ball in their possession, sprint down the court looking to get past to. Now, if you have a team that has a player who can pass like like ball, this is something that you will be very beneficial for if you transition down court quickly. Because by transitioning down the court quickly, especially if you have a player who's always looking to make that big pass, now you're going to be able to sneak behind the offense, I mean sneak behind the defense, and because of that, you can do a quick, he hasn't even landed yet, he's Bang, catch, that's his first step right there. He goes one, two, and he goes up for the big slam dunk. This is really great footwork. So many players would have put that ball down onto the ground for one dribble and would have lost it because he would have stolen it. Now, this is a great lesson for all players. When you catch that ball, if you're in a transition game or in a fast break, always Think really quickly, can I attack the rim without having to dribble the ball? This is an extremely important tactic to know. Because if you can attack that rim without having to dribble, you're going to have a higher chance of making that basket. Maybe it might not be a dunk, but you're going to have the higher chance of not getting the ball stolen. This guy would have whacked that ball away if he didn't if he put it down and didn't go for the dunk instead. Now his physical ability is able to punish defenses but he really knows how to get to the open area of the court. And that's why I'm such a big promoter of read and react type of offense. So as we see Zion Williamson right here, he's able to sneak behind the defense. Now no matter who you are, whether you're a 10 year old, a 15 year old, or a 20 year old who could smash the ball down on the rim, it doesn't matter. If you can sneak behind the defense and understand how to do that, what he did here was he set that screen and then he rolled off and cut towards the rim. And as soon as he recognized, hey, there is nobody between me and the basket, my next defender's way over here. What's, what, I, what should I do? I'm calling for that ball. Yo, pass that ball. Now, whether or not you can dunk like Zion Williamson can, it doesn't matter. What you can do is now pivot that foot over here. So this guy here is trapped behind you and there's nothing he can do. Now you've got a whole wide open net. This player can pass over top and because of that, you can get that layup if you're younger or dunk like Zion Williamson if you're a bit older. So here we are in transition once again. So now we have Zion Williamson who is in transition and he is attacking that rim. He's getting behind the defense. Again, it doesn't matter if you can dunk or not. This is a tactic that you can use. And if you're athletic like Zion Williamson, you can really destroy a lot of defenses. Now, many defenses in the NBA haven't seen a player like Zion Williamson's strength, but also his knowledge on how to get to the open area of the court. Now, because he's on transition, he attacks that rim, and because of that, he's snuck behind the defense. And because of that, they're able to lob up the ball, and he's able to go in for that dunk. But, if he was a bit younger, he could have put his butt up against that player's butt and said pass over top, and that would have been still a pass over top, and without even having to dribble, just one step and a nice left-handed or right-handed layup, on that left side and he would have had nobody guarding him but if you can dunk you don't have to make contact to create space and because of that he's able to go up now again they're playing a five out offense and your coach may be running a five out offense with you and if he does because it is a very common offense if you don't know what it is it's when you've got five players on the outside of the three-point line now, whether or not your coach is running this play, you can still do this exact same tactic or tip or move. And that is, you've got players driving from the 45 degree angle out, or better, in this area. And because of that, 
your defensive player, whether it's a zone defense or a man, if it's a man, your player is going to be playing help defense. He'll be guarding the key. If he's a, if it's a zone, he'll be still guarding the key, and especially if the ball's on the other side. And because of that, when your players are driving, that player is going to be preoccupied to watch and see what's happening with that play. Meanwhile, if you are able to notice that your defender is not paying attention to what you're doing and you've got guards who actually pay attention to what's happening on the court what you're gonna have is the ability to cut back door because the play is over here you've snuck now behind this defensive player and because of that they're gonna be able to lob it up for you and you could dunk it if you can but if you can't dunk it that would be still an easy lob to you you could land with the ball and then go back up so he's able to sneak behind the defense and slam it down. He is one athletic, crazy, amazing player. Now again, the Pelicans are running a five-out offense, but Zion Williamson recognizes that he's got a smaller player on him. And you can do this as well as a player. If you're a bit bigger than some of the players who are defending you, you can use this move. So this is a fantastic move to get open. And that is, you're attacking, you're walking, or you could be running towards your defender, and then you plant that, in that left foot right in between his legs. Now, once you've completed that, you can spin off of him, and now you have gained position between the net and your defender, and now there's not much he's going to be able to do. Now, he's actually making contact right there. Some referees at the younger level will not want you to touch the other player with your hand, especially if you're outstretched and not bent like his arm isn't. However, you could use your butt up against his butt to make contact and make it so that he's unable to get around you and now if you're able to do that and you're able to now get that ball now of course he's able to dunk or jump just so ridiculously high but at the younger level that ball won't be won't be lobbing so high and it'll be lobbing a little bit lower and you'll be able to get it without having to really watch out for your defender and you can even make body contact and make him unable to get that ball now once you get that ball you would be able to land now if the help defender especially at the younger age you're not gonna have a help defender coming down you'll still be one-on-one -on -one, you'll have an easy basket but if you do play up against a smarter team what you can do is land with the ball have that help defender come down and now you can pass out to the open player who is right there so that you can get an assist from your amazing move. Now I just want you to look at this jab step drive move really quickly. Now he's going to jab step with his left foot so we're watching Zion Williamson right there. He jab steps now without pulling the foot all the way back and then clearing and then going around he does that jab step and he does it quickly just a quick jab step and then he takes the step. So many players wait until their leg gets all the way back and then attack. Meanwhile, that defensive player has now recovered and because of that, you're not able to drive. Now he takes one dribble and now one, two, and up. Now, what he could have done at the younger level, obviously at the younger level, you're not going to be able to slam dunk as much as Zion Williamson does there. However, when he attacks, when that help defender comes over, we have another player now attacking baseline. You could have dumped it off to that player, but if you can dunk like Zion, then you might as well just slam it down. Now I want to see the same move, but how he drives to the rim is really good. Now when he does that jab step, he does dribble before he lifts that foot. Now this is another way to do a jab step. So he does the jab step, and then when he wants to drive, this is a really good move, and this is a move that not many players use. And that is because, well, some referees may look at it as a travel, but it's actually not. So when he does that jab step, this is still his pivot foot. He cannot lift that until he dribbles that ball. But he goes and he dribbles the ball and crosses it over from that jab step. And that's a really good move to do. Now, he's able to make it look almost like a travel, but because of that, he's able to now leave that jab step a lot earlier than you normally would if you lifted that, that left foot up and to move and reposition it to attack on that right side. But because he's able to jab and then cross back over, he's able to lift the pivot foot. 
Now, when he takes his one dribble, he does a quick hop step right into his defender, and because he's much bigger, that's now clearing out that player. And because that player was trying to recover anyways and really put pressure on Zion, he's not going to be able to. Zion does a jump stop and goes up for a dunk. Now, if you're a much larger player than your defender, you can do this move as well. So let's dissect it again. He jab steps, crosses the ball over, which allows him to lift up that pivot foot and attacks that right side. One dribble, then shoulder slightly down, but still his body is in a straight line. He's not totally lowering his shoulder to injure the other player. And because of that, the referee is not going to call him for a foul. And now he's able to now go up with a jump stop and go up for a dunk. Now you may not go up for a dunk, but you can still go up for a layup. Now this next move and final move I'm going to show you is a great move that you can do as well, no matter what position you're in. So what we have here is Zion Williamson receiving a pass coming to him from down court. Now as soon as he lands, he receives that ball and as soon as he lands, he lands on both feet. Obviously his player needs to try and catch up to him or try and actually defend him after trying to receive that long pass. Remember, you can do this move as well. This is not a special move whatsoever. He goes and jab steps as soon as he catches that ball and lands. And because he jab steps as soon as he lands and he doesn't wait any time to do it, it now loses his defender and basically breaks the defender's ankles and there's absolutely nothing anybody can do about him taking that shot and by the way it goes in. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in our next video.